I'm in no way driving this thing. See, no pedals, there's no pedals, no gas pedal, no brake pedal. That's way too fast. This thing's insane. What are we gonna do with this crazy old go-kart? Well, we're gonna make it remote control. Radio control, whatever you wanna call it, but this thing is gonna drive with a remote. So, stay tuned. We'll see if somebody wants to ride in it. All right, do a little walk around here. First thing, uh, this chain definitely needs a tensioner. I drove it about, I don't know, 300 feet and it popped off, but luckily it's so loose, I put it back on. Um, kill switch doesn't work, so I yanked the plug out to, uh, or the wire out of the plug. But we do have a nice clutch, um, eight horsepower Honda engine. The welds are, uh, the welds are something else. Um, yeah, the welds are definitely special. But one thing I am concerned about, this thing's a live axle. And what that means is both tires are connected. 100% uh, of the time it doesn't have any kind of slip so when you go to steer it There's not enough weight in the front to make this thing actually turn properly So we're gonna have to figure that out Brandon here today and as some of you may know Brandon is the RC Guru of the world we're gonna make this thing RC controlled throttle brake and steering and then we're gonna remove the controls so that the person riding in it doesn't have control that one of us with the uh, old trigger has control I bought a whole box of stuff suggested by Brandon. We're still missing one piece, but it's supposed to come in this morning. We're gonna pull these wheels off. That'll help. And uh, we got this brake. It's, look how close that is to the tire. I mean, you can't even get your finger between this brake and that tire. It's, it's pretty bad. But anyway, we have a hydraulic setup. We're gonna swap that out for. We bought a trailer hub and the trailer hub is supposed to be one inch ID bearings. So if we put a collar on this shaft, we should be able to put that trailer hub on there, bolt this wheel back on, same bolt pattern, and then this one will just freewheel. And Brandon is working on where to locate some of the electronics. So we have two things currently. This is a 24 volt battery, and this one's gonna run our big steering servo. And then this battery here is a 12 volt battery, and this will run all the other electronics and also the lights for the dune buggy that Brandon said that we definitely got to have. Absolutely, LEDs are in this. This has been rolled. Oh yeah, it's definitely not straight. We're gonna start pulling it apart and uh, get this hub swapped out and hopefully that gets us to where we can t do some testing here real quick and uh, see what all is gonna work. <laughs> Grab our trailer hub. I got right here which is supposedly a one inch ID shaft and hopefully we can bolt that onto that and we'll have a free spinning hub. Basically we're gonna wipe out all the pedal assembly in here and mount up some tabs for the servos to sit on and they're just gonna pull on the existing linkages. So we're gonna use this with an arm um, yep. and this will just pull on pretty much that cable. It's gonna be like a big nitro RC car, essentially. These are 45 kg pull, so they got quite a bit of power, but we don't wanna overload these things. Look at this caliper. I mean, it's not bad. Hydraulic oh, uh, lever, so I'm thinking we mount this up there and maybe we come out to here, drill a hole. And then that way, this has plenty of leverage for that assembly to to pull or whatever. So I got a piece of tube mounted to a lever. The thought is that this caliper goes to the back. And then the brake lever on the tube will mount under here. We'll weld it onto the frame right here. And then that servo can mount between here and just pull that brake lever. So what I think I'm going to do is make a bracket that will mount to these two holes and we'll weld that bracket to this piece and I'm just gonna weld all this up solid here and then cut this arm off. All right, so what have you made so far? I can see you're working on a bracket. Well, about halfway done with it. What I'm gonna end up doing is probably lopping this off so that way we can just mount it up to the side of the bar and we're gonna weld it to the frame and that's gonna take care of the throttle. 
Awesome. It's got a good bit of torque to it, so it should be plenty to pull yeah. on the throttle spring. Cool. He's going to give this a nice uh, surfacing. Should we just fire it up? Fire it up and idle it? I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Work good. That's all we do here is problem solving. Brandon is problem solving. He every time he solves a problem, he comes up with a whole nother problem. That's facts. But it's not necessarily Brandon. I mean, it is Brandon's problem that he has to fix, but it's not Brandon's problem initially, if that makes sense. Okay, Brandon, will it fit? I, I, I'm crossing my appendages. So far, uh, we've got the new hub on this side. I put a cotter, pee, a cotter, pee, a cotter pin in it. Um, I, it's not torqued down or anything yet. It's just on there. Um, but you can see that hub and that little spacer thing I made and all that stuff. And then the brake caliper is mounted back here too. So that all works. We tested it out. We got the controller up here with the bar mounted to it. That's going to go in there. Uh, not done yet. Brandon has mocked up pretty much all of the steering stuff, uh, and the throttle control and all of that. He's got all the brackets made. Uh, Brandon's going to source out some of the rest of the controls and the wires and stuff. And pretty much 90% um, of the fab work, I'd say, is done. Yeah. Uh, I've still got to put the tensioner for the chain on. Anyway, that's day one. We're going to try to make this happen in two days. So uh, Brandon and I are going to take a couple days off, and he'll be back, I think, on Friday. Today is Monday. Uh, and then... Hopefully this thing is driving around and one of us gets to drive it, one of us gets to ride in it. What I need to do is make some kind of a bracket that will hold this. And uh, so I've got a little bit of cardboard here. Well, I ended up modifying that bracket and I added this tab down here with the slot, and that way we can tension this spring. I kind of gusseted it over to the frame there, got this uh, actual spring tensioner down here, adjusted it down pretty far, works good, everything spins, everything lines up. You, you can see I mounted that brake lever. It comes through here, and then the servo is actually mounted right there. So what I did is I used a quarter 20 bolt, and I flattened the end of it, drilled a hole in it, so now when the servo activates, it'll pull this brake lever. Now I do still need to notch this out so this can go a little bit further, um, but the whole point of using this bolt was I over-drilled this hole, so if in an emergency the operator you know, with the controller can't stop this, the guy riding in it could reach forward and push on this brake lever and it would still slide. I ended up making a pretty good bracket here for the uh, steering servo. So we've got a bracket that comes around here in the top and grabs that, and then we just got this linkage. So should work pretty good. Start, steers the tires lock to lock, built this little almost like a little transmission tunnel, but for this thing. And we can put it right there. And then that keeps people from banging into it with their feet. Brandon just got here. Well, hello. 
he hasn't been here in a week, so he is here to check out uh, what I have done since he's been gone. Yeah, so you haven't seen anything yet, so uh, yeah, what do you think? This is, uh, is going to be a fun one. All right, well, let's get to work. Got some specialty connector radiators. He's done splicing and crimping and connecting. Got some of the radio controls already installed. So he's making the connectors that go from like the, whatever them things are called. What are them things called? Those Servos. Things, yeah. Yeah, from the servos. So the end of the servo lead basically isn't going to reach the receiver. So we're making some little extensions. While you're doing that, you want me to make a cover that we can like over here? Brandon's got most of his stuff done. I made this little panel. It only covers half of this uh, because I didn't. Um, want to cover up the brake because yeah, but what we wanted to do is mainly just make it so you didn't kick any of this stuff when you're getting in and out. Maybe we'll throw like an SB or something on here. That was Brandon's idea. Yeah. Or maybe our racing number if we come up with one. Sixty nine. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. We're Brandon's momentary. Brandon's getting ready to program everything. So anytime you hit the button, it's going to activate the brake, and when you let go of it, the brake will return to neutral. Sweet. Things running off RC guys. Here's the brake. Throttle running right here. <laughs> I'm getting excited because it's almost done. I'll come flying off that table and kill us. <laughs> we both go down together. It works though. If you would, give us a quick is there. <laughs> we got brake, we got throttle. I'm gonna ride in it the first time um, just to make sure that if something goes haywire that we don't run into anything out here. Brain inspect a bunch of this stuff and we weren't really sure. We don't know how long it'll last because I mean they're built for like fifth scale RC cars but um, we're taking we're taking our chances. <laughs> that is so weird. It's really weird not having any control whatsoever. I'm in no way driving this thing. See, no pedals, there's no pedals, no gas pedal, no brake pedal. So this is what you call self-driving. <laughs> That's fantastic. What the freaking oh, shit! <laughs> I broke it. Again? I hit a curve. Oh. So Brandon made a huge mistake. He gave me the controls. 100% my fault. He gave me the controls. I was driving it with the uh, remote. And uh, I made a corner too fast and hit a curb. And it stripped the gears out of the steering we servo. Got no more teeth left in the servo. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there anymore. I think we drove around for 20 minutes uh, total. But we learned, A, the brakes work pretty good. The throttle works pretty good. Yep. And before we busted the steering servo, or I should say until I did, uh, that worked pretty good too, except it just didn't turn quite sharp enough. So I think we need to do a little bit more research. Maybe one of you guys that messes with RC stuff or, you know, battle bots dudes or power, but it didn't have, it didn't have enough range. Like I said, we're going to release this video and put it down in the comments. If you guys want to see this thing go nuts, uh, maybe one of you also knows, um, a better servo that we could be using for the steering. And if you do leave it down below. We'll take the comments. So what actually happened was, you know, when this got hit, it twisted that and just sheared off all those splines inside. The actual servo motor is still good. So everybody saw that other one stripped out. So I've got this one and it's supposed to, uh, you really can't see it very well, but there's like a little split down there. So this is spring loaded. And if this hits something, what it's supposed to do is pop up and out of that little groove there and uh, prevent it from breaking the steering servos. Tons of cool projects in the shop, everybody. Stop by, you need a project worked on, something done. Pretty much doing a full rebuild on this, doing some custom work on this guy. 
Got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Check it out, check it out. All right, Brandon, we are on location with the Doom Buggy. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, Try it out. Ask if the chain will stay on. <laughs> oh, it's so bouncy, it's going to be insane. Look at that stupidity. All right, I say haul ass with it and see what happens. All right, we're going for a speed run here. Found a tree. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> All right, so we're running out of daylight. I'm gonna hop in this thing, and Brandon's gonna drive it, and hopefully I don't die. We're gonna. We're hoping that this makes it bounce a little bit less. This thing is too fast to be remote control. Okay, so it's hard to hold on because there's nothing to hold on to other than the frame. And it is extremely bouncy. Oh, he's going to kill me. You've never ridden in it. Get in, bro. Do I dare give you the radio? You ready? All right, so you had your first ride. What do you think? Oh my God, this thing is insane, man. Your instinct is to want to steer, but you're not in control. The guy with the radio is in control. <laughs> That's right. So and you never know what somebody's gonna do. <laughs> this thing is so sketchy. Should we ramp him over something? I vote yes. I can't believe that actually survived. Well, Brandon and I are back here at the shop with the uh, Doom buggy, and we have both decided that uh, overall, it was a success. It was pretty good. Um, you know, we had some problems with a chain tensioner, uh, and we had a, a problem, we bent the steering. Um, but to be honest, it worked, and it worked for a good hour. So- uh, And it did run out of gas. Yeah, I call it a success. We're gonna be back for some serious shenanigans because we got a great plan now that we know how this thing operates and we know it's plenty fast. That was a proper shakedown. It was, yeah, it was definitely a shakedown. It shook me, uh, shook me all night long, if you know what I mean. Down. Yeah, he got shook and stirred and uh, my back hurts now. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We put a lot of work into this uh, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget yeah. to subscribe and like and comment and do all that stuff. Let us know what you want to see us do with this thing or what you want to see us build next. And we'll be back with more. Check out stealthbuilt.com for some cool t-shirts and swags and hats and all the other cool stuff. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. See ya. That was way too fast. This thing's insane.